Hey, Rick Maniacs, we're here on the floor at World War Brick 2023. I got my good friend Matthew joining me. We're taking a look at what is clearly a sizable creation here. Uh, first things first, Matthew, what, uh, what's your social media? Uh, hi, I'm Matthew. I'm our Brick Maniac builder on Instagram, and I built this Battle of the Ludendorff Bridge. So uh, you want to take us on a little tour here and uh, kind of tell you how you got this thing off the ground? Yeah, so I'd like to start over here by the Allies side where you can see the, um, the U.S. armor moving up towards the bridge. Now this side, I started building this side last year uh, because this had, uh, the mountains were uh, different from last year. Okay. Today, uh, for this year, I built it a lot better with uh, the pathways going up and the trenches in there, as you can see. I've got uh, train, bra uh, train tracks going across the bottom and all the way across the bridge. Mm -hmm. So you can also, uh, I've got about, uh, three or four tanks coming up the bridge here and I've got four towers two on each side which took me quite a while to figure out because I had to figure out the design mm -hmm. and also replicate it yeah. four times did you did you know right away that you were going to start with with wiring and sound and everything or did that come after the no fire? that actually okay. the sound that you hear now I've got uh, I had two and I got one for Christmas uh, last year, so I decided, hey, why not put it in? Yeah. And then uh, I got another one because they look good, and I'd like to have two on each side. Mm -hmm. Except on the way here, when I was trying to set it up, one of them snapped. Oh, no. <laughs> so it was broken, so I was like, hey, I can still do it. So I ran over to the store back there, and I bought the last one that they had in stock and hooked it up on the other side. So uh, there's clearly no shortage of action going on here. I mean, there's movement all over this mock. I know we're started on this end of the bridge, but why don't you point out a couple of kind of your favorite moments of action, if you will? Well, I know over here down there, we've got um, some guys talking about the plan. You know, you've got your, um, I think you got a colonel down there with the general. Uh, they're trying to discuss maybe like a plan and you've got troops moving up the, the, uh, the mountain with uh, the dead Germans because they've already advanced that far. Uh, you've got a destroyed Panzer tank over here with a destroyed Opal Blitz. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, the Opal Blitz I got a while ago and I liked so much so I bought two of them. Okay. Because you know, most popular German truck. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got one on the other side with the canvas. That one's doing a little better than the other one. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And um, I've also got, so the armor's moving up here um, I've actually, uh, both sides that you see on each, on either end, it splits up into two parts. So it's, uh, four gray base plates in total for each side. Okay. And then about 15 blue in the middle. Okay. And, uh, you know, I talked about the towers and stuff, but this main section is really what I worked on for this year. Yeah, this so, is the magic's happening for sure. So if you don't remember last year, I was at Brickworld Chicago 2022. And when I was bringing it, I had a way different uh, bridge part, which I live 15 minutes away from the convention center in Chicago because I'm from Chicago. A longer trip to come up here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and I, when I brought it up, it was only a 15 minute drive, yet the entire bridge fell off. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it was completely destroyed because of all the shaking in the car. That's a lot of repair work. The whole thing was flattened. So I was like, that's not going to happen again. Mm -hmm. So I reinforced the hell out of this. And I made sure everything was not going to break. This bridge can split up into three parts. The cube section on one side, the other cube section, and the archway. Mm -hmm. So that's I made sure. Yep, yep, exactly. I packed it up for World War Brick, and it did not even, not even a piece came off of it. Nice. Some careful driving, maybe? Yep. <laughs> I'd say this section probably took about four months to make. Wow. Uh, that does not include the multiple uh, weeks of planning, mm -hmm. preparation, and ordering the bricks that right. I had to do. Actually, during school, sometimes I'll have some downtime where I don't have any homework to work on, so I'm like, hey, might as well work on this. So what I did at school, I got my iPad, and I made sure I got a whole um, note uh, no work of everything that I wanted to do, mm -hmm. blueprints of everything, uh, number of pieces, how much. I calculated 
everything that I needed to do okay. to make this happen. Well, I think that's one of the things that when people come to shows like this and they see mocks of this size, they go, how do you even do that? Like, oh, yeah. How do you even get something like that off the ground? It does take a lot of planning and building, but the planning is kind of the most important part. Yeah, I'd say um, planning definitely is very important. I've um, Last year for uh, Brickworld, these sections on the end were actually shortened by okay. about a half base plate. So what I did, I wanted it bigger. So I took all of this section where you see the, the um, I don't even know what's the, the big support for the bridge. Mm -hmm. I took it off of the base plate mm -hmm. completely, moved it about 16 studs to the left. Okay. Set it all back down from both sides. Well, this is a very, very impressive build. So tell me a little bit, since you kind of got the entire thing together, what are some of maybe the things that you've gone back and added, whether it's figures or little vignettes? Like, what well, what, uh, what have you added on to this build? Well, the thing is, I had crunch time so, so much where I completed this bridge part about a week ago. Wow. So this had been done and just finished like a week ago. And I did not have time to set up any of these figs. Mm -hmm. So I just decided to bring all my Brickmania kits, all my figures, and set it up on Friday. See which oh. ones fit. And the ones that didn't fit, I just have them lay on. And um, yeah, so. And had moved on from started. there. Wow, so this is kind of the first time that we've, that we've seen this in its entirety set yep. up like this. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this is the first time other than maybe at my house, I set it up like this, but yep. not with all the figures and stuff. Wow. So it took a while. Um, actually, that section over there broke off into three pieces. The two base plates and that middle section with the bridge mm -hmm. broke off, and I had to rebuild it. But it wasn't that hard to rebuild since the majority of it stuck together. It was just those sections. Absolutely incredible. We cannot thank you enough for making the trip yeah. up here and bringing this up to display. Obviously, you got yourself a little trophy too, so nothing, oh, yeah. nothing wrong Find with that. On that side. <laughs> very, very cool to see. Anything else you want to talk about with this before we wrap it up? Uh, let me see, because I, I do have a ton of figures on here. Mm -hmm. I know um, the method that I use to, um, to make the bridge so strong, mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure if it's illegal or not, so Nothing's don't call here. the Lego police on me, but I used... A uh, long, um, like, 1 by 10 um, technique. Piece, oh, yeah, right? I, see, I see what you're talking about. And here. I stuck them uh, sideways. You could see them mm -hmm. coming out from the bottom, too. I stuck them sideways. I had to calculate, okay, it's two, stu or it's, uh, two plates instead of three on top of each other. And then I used the tiles to scrunch them together, and then he'll put some pressure uh, or some stress on the bricks and um, and it'll stay. Uh, this thing, I can pick up and shake as much as I want, and the pillars will not move. Wow. One more thing. Yeah, I almost please. forgot. Over here, we've got a bunker. Now, uh, I'm not sure if this is historically accurate or not, uh, that there was a bunker. We're talking about right here? Yep, right here. You can see the gun out here. Um, I just did that because I wanted to do some sort of uh, bunker or something mm -hmm. and you could remove the top look at that and you can look inside <laughs> i don't have any figures in there right now you know I, you got uh the stolen gold mm -hmm. in there and um boxes and stuff you know i did that same i took that kind of design and used it for my falklands build over here uh for the houses mm -hmm. but um yeah i put a lot of uh special tiles everywhere made sure i had uh some trenches or foxholes I got the 88 millimeter guns, uh, tanks rolling through over here, tanks rolling across, uh, people getting um, fighting on the bridge, and yeah. Absolutely incredible. It just keeps getting better the more and more you look at it. Oh, yeah. Like I said, thank you guys very much for making the trip. Yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching.